Baby, I need you in my life. Okay, so this ain't gonna be an Eric and Tay look, you know. Baby, this is gonna be. <laughs> it ain't gonna be as neat as Eric and Tay's, baby. Oh, shit. Um, have I been asked to style celebrities? Yes, I have. I have been asked to style one of the most biggest rappers in the rap industry. And I declined because they wanted me to style them for an event. Um, and I couldn't because it was one of my be best, fr best friend's birthday dinner. And that last year, I missed her dinner. And she told me that if I missed the dinner the next year, that we was not going to be talking. So, I just told them that I could not. Um, I could not do it. Because, you know, I was loyal to my friend and I needed, she needed me there for her birthday. And I know that in any event, she would, she has done it for me before. I'm not naming anyone. Ooh, I'm not naming anyone. I'm not saying no names. I just, you know, want you guys to know that. Okay, so now I need to go through um, and part out each section because I want this ponytail to really be up and slick. She's not a friend. I mean, I don't really care about that. Like, I want somebody to be loyal to me, just like I'm loyal to them, you know? Um... And I told her. And she, when I told her, she was like, oh, no, you should have went. Like, no, bitch. That's the opportunity. But I was like, no, I'm loyal to you, bitch. I'm a loyal-ass friend. Something's going on. I don't give a fuck if it was, well, because, yeah. I mean, it was, a, it was an opportunity that I missed. But at the end of the day, I had a good-ass time at her dinner. And we kiki ki Yes, we did, baby. Oh, why is this in my eye? I feel like it's still too much hair left in my own. Um, let me part this in my swoop. All right, what's meant will be in. Honey, they'll end up calling me again. Because when I said I couldn't, they said, oh, well, you know what? She definitely respects that. But, you know, thank you. We appreciate it. I was like, honey, I would have flew to whatever y'all was to, you know, style you. But, baby, I got a dinner to go to. And I was like, it's one of my best friend's dinner. And she told me if I did not make her next year's dinner that I was not going to be friends with her. And, you know, that's important. Like, I feel like my friends should show up for me show up for your friend you don't have to get them a gift you don't have to you know finance you know it's good to have a little finance <laughs> little friend but show up for your friend that's all i'm always going to show up for my friends no matter what okay i feel like it needs a little less hair i feel like this suit gonna be too thick so i'm going to um Put a little more hair in this ponytail. Okay. Let me see if this much will be good. I'm so confused. Yeah, I think this Dutch is good. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know... At the end of the day, it's going to be an opp another opportunity. It's given now, right? Right. It's going to be another. It's going to come another time and opportunity where that same person is going to call me. Right. Money isn't everything. I'm team every woman. I'm not picking no size, baby. But y'all will not tell me that Nikki isn't the queen of rap. 
and she is, you know. So, but um, you, know, you gotta respect the queen, baby. But I'm not picking those sides. I love everyone. I love all female rappers right now. Um, I feel like Nikki is very hardworking. She is an amazing, phenomenal, iconic rapper, actress, all around talent. Um, who has a fan base, one of the biggest fan bases ever, you know. And I want y'all to stop throwing superstar around. Um, I love Look Him too. So you just pick, yeah, you, just like you pick a booger in your nose, bitch. I didn't pick nothing, ho. So shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. But, um, like I said, you know, y'all be throwing this superstar, uh, icon, legend name around. And it's a lot of people I heard that are not legends. They have not sold out arenas. They have not, you know what I'm saying? They have not, they can't, you know, like, it's, That's why I hate answering questions like that. Cause then bitches be also you pick bitch. Just yeah, ho. Just like you pick that book out your nose. And you need to pick that stain out your motherfucking um penny, ho. If you have not sold out arenas, baby, you're not a um icon. Baby, an icon to me, Missy Elliott, Rihanna, Jay-Z, Nicki Minaj, um, Aretha Franklin. Uh, Tupac, Biggie, Beyonce. Did I say Rihanna? Yes. The Weeknd, Ariana Grande. Um, Child, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston. Uh, it's a lot of icons out here, dead and alive. Um, I think Chris Brown is borderline icon. I really do. I think Usher is borderline icon. I mean, I don't know. Patty LaBelle, yes. I we can add Chris Brown to the icon stage. We can. Mariah Carey. You know. <clears throat> I look him, I feel like, is a trendsetter. She was an iconic and, you know, iconic rapper. I love look him. Pretty. Look him inspires a whole lot of my fashions today. Lady Gaga, Lil Wayne, yes. Janet Jackson, of course. But, um, Anita Baker, yes. And the icon to me is someone who can, sp who can spend 10 or more, 15 years in the game still putting out hits. That's an icon to me. When you're doing that, oh my God, you are definitely a force to be reckoned with. But yes, I love Kim. Kim is my girl. Ooh. I just named Nikki Ho. Get your fake page ass up out of here. Dumbass bitch. Block. Child, bitches be trying me. I didn't glue this part down. I need to glue that. I need to add some glue right there. You want to see me in a big screen? Me too. Okay, y'all. We almost on the point. So you see it's being molded. It's being, you know, 
we're almost done so that's the hardest part it's literally gonna take me like another 20 minutes to do everything else I had to block that old illiterate ass, dumb ass bitch. Just like I said in the live, what, last week? I said Nikki could take five years off and still come back and like nothing ever happened. Because she has earned that title as the queen of rap. She really has. Ooh, why is this doing it? Baby, I need you in my life. It's like an orange and not red. No, it's actually red. I think it's the lighting. The perimeter shooting, I was not there. Child. Mm -mm. I would love to do a class with Tokyo Styles. I really would. That'd be sickening. Okay, so now we got the ponies held up. Yes, I feel like an icon. Look, him is an icon to me. Yes, she is. Like, who made a name for themselves? She has made a name for herself. Usher has made a name for himself. Like I said, he's borderline iconic. I don't know, just... Bitch, don't ask me no more, child, because I'm going to be, I don't want to lie to y'all. I am not a perfectionist, but I am learning to be a perfectionist because I'll be rushing on my hair. China, y'all just name me anybody. Okay. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. Y'all name me. Child. Let me just be quiet and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause now y'all taking this too motherfucking far. Thank you. Who's my stylist? Me. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the pony. And, oh, she snatched, bitch. I'm going to have to put some more glue right here, too, because I ain't glued that part down. Okay, wait. Right, I literally wore my hair for, like, three days. Thank you, boo. I don't consider myself a goat in here. I mean, I really don't know, but... Does my best friend get jealous when other artists do my makeup? No. She actually loves it when other people do my makeup. Like, she literally calls me and be like, bitch, she killed that face. She killed it. And Lauren is not like that. Like, she loves other makeup artists. Like, when she has weddings and stuff, and they be like, do you mind if, you know, we bring another makeup? No. Because Lauren loves to learn, too. You never know. We all could learn from one another. And we all could teach each other a thing or two. So, Lauren is never... Oh, no, never mind. Lauren is never like that. Alright, so now we got the ponytail. I'm not going to really flatten it out until I have it wrapped up. Okay. 
I'm gonna take my um and just flatten it out like this. I think I need to redo it. It need to be higher. I think it needs to be higher, like right here next to the. Y'all think so? No. Okay. I'm tripping. Oh, y'all like it? Okay, cool. Okay, never mind. I be overthinking it. That's all. I love you too, baby. You know what? Let me tell y'all. Let's talk about this, right? I'm so single that when I go to bed sometimes, I be pretending that I got a man by my side. Bitch, do y'all be doing that like to all my single people? Bitch, I'm so single that I literally do that. Child, I'm just single. Same. Oh, my God. I literally be doing that. Okay, so now I'm going to take some hair out the back. I'm that single. <laughs> I be like, babe, I'm sleep. <laughs> Girl, I'm, I got a problem. I got a fucking problem. Why am I choosing to be single? I don't know. I just feel like it's, I don't know. I really don't know. It's healthy to do that. It's manifesting, right? I be, I be pretending I got a thick-ass nigga by my side. Like, just... Oh, hey, babe. You had to put that work. You did? Okay, babe. Okay, I'm just making sure. The snoring turned me off. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know, I find it sexy when a man be snoring. Like, I just find it sexy. I don't know why. But, baby, don't be in there snoring like a fucking teddy bear now. Oh. I love thick men. Like, I really do. I don't want no skinny ass nigga. But I don't snore, baby. Am I sleeping in that ponytail? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, I have to. I have to fall asleep with like after, no, bef yeah, after. I don't know, bitch. I don't know, girl. Don't give me the line. Ooh. Yeah, skinny niggas be packing, but it's also some thick niggas that have the dick too. No, it's not a bang. It's a um swoop. It's gonna be a swoop. I love thick men. Ooh, I do, honey. I just feel like they can pick me up and just have fun with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just have some fucking fun. Oh, bitch, now. I'll tell you the snow hell fucking all. Oh, baby. I know some big niggas that's packing. Like, I really do. And they're like thick and muscular build. Okay, y'all. So now we're going to do this pony. And I'll be like, ooh. 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 Uh, uh, uh. Like the boy on Soul Food. Remember that? Remember the Soul Food? The Soul Food scene when um, Bird Man came home. And the gay boy there. And the, the, gay, the, gay, the gay boy hairstylist. And there was the other girl there. And they was like, who was that in the other room? And bitch, he came out and he dropped his motherfucking um his pants. And he was like, ooh, 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 ooh. How big am I? Baby, I have a small dick. I'm gonna let you know up front. It don't work. Don't ask me to use it. That's I have a pussy. Yeah, I have a pussy. I ain't got no dick. I have a pussy. Yeah, period. That's me. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have a pussy hoe. 
Yeah, don't ask me the motherfucking use it. I hate nigga. Ooh, you fuck me. It was the motherfucking. Let me tell you, this man I met at um, St. Regis, he was an older white man. He was from Paris, France. And he wanted me to move to France with him. He wanted to find a. He knew who I was. Let me tell you, them niggas over there, they be knowing who you is. But anyway, he wanted to me to move to France with him and settle down. And I was like, I don't even know you. But, um, child. Okay, so I'm going to swoop it like this. Swoop. Baby, my dick don't work. The pussy works. The pussy work. That's what work. <laughs> exactly. Some sideburns. Okay. So now we're going to flatten out your swoop. Would I date Jeffree Star? I mean, for money, I would. I mean, I honestly kind of would. I don't, I wouldn't date him. It'll be like a friend relationship. Like, my a girlfriend. Like, that's my girlfriend right there. Like, that type of relationship. I need to turn my flat iron on. Bitch, did I not bring my flat iron up here? Damn. Yeah, that pussy taught English, Spanish, and motherfucking French. Oh, you like it? I'm not liking it so far. I don't know why. Tell me, tell us your coming out story. Bitch, I already been out. I ain't never been in. I'm coming out. Bitch, that's what I said to my mama. She said, I already know, baby. You ain't got to come out. I knew you was out, bitch. You wasn't even in, ho. Oh, burnt myself. Shit. Oh, that hurt. Mama, I already knew I was our baby. Have I ever hooked up with Tyler Perry? No. Isn't he married? No, I don't do married men, honey. And I don't do men that are on a DL. I mean, I think I would, but you got to have, you got to give me some money. And it's not even a hush money. It's just, I need to be satisfied. And you don't need to be with nobody else. But I can see if he DL and he's about to come out the closet. Yes. But if you marry, you DL. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say no. Oh, shit. That hurt. That shit burn. All right. So now I'm going to spray some. Let me get my rubber bands. Put this on. I'm gonna spray some hairspray. I don't know if he on down low or not, y'all. Money talk. Mm-hmm. It sure does. Baby, this is an old motherfucking Decatur swoop. This is an old Bessemer, Alabama swoop, bitch.
This a motherfucking best of my Alabama swoop, bitch. It is giving left eye. Okay, so now I need to I need to flatten this side right here. It's coming together, yes. Oh, shit. I'm happy. I'm not from Bessemer, baby. <laughs> I ain't that damn country child. I'm from Atlanta, baby. Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Gucci Mane, like Sun Valley, Paradise East area. Yeah. Gucci Mane, OJ Juicy Man, like that type of area. East side. Mm hmm. Okay, hold on, bitch. The swoop need to be swooping a little more. Let me take this hair out from the back. I am a perfectionist. Oh, look, bitch. Look how heavy-handed I am. Don't rip out a whole bundle. Uh, you from New Orleans and I sound like y'all? Oh, my God. I've gotten that so many times. I guess because, I don't know, I got Creole in me. Oh, shit. Gucci Mane ain't from no Alabama. He was, well, he might have been from Alabama, just like Kelly Rowland is from Atlanta. But she was raised in Houston. So, you know, Houston claims Calendria, baby. I'm a perfection shy. Don't mind me. This swoop. Ooh, girl. I might take all night with this motherfucking swoop. Girl. Oh, shit. Gucci Mane from Alabama. Okay, well, he from Atlanta. He was raised in Atlanta, so he from Atlanta. Just like 20 and Savage from uh, England. He was raised in motherfucking Atlanta, baby. Baby, it's where you're made, baby. You, It's, it's where you're made at, baby. Your childhood. Where your childhood at. Just like Usher. Ain't he from Tennessee or something like that? But what he claim? Atlanta. Kanye West is from where? Atlanta, but what he claim? Chicago. Ludacris is from where? Chicago, but what he claim? Atlanta. Because he was right, he's here, boo. Okay, there we go. It's coming together, boo. Ooh, girl, this the old goddamn auntie motherfucking Jemima swoop. Okay, there we go. All right, y'all. So, we got a minute left, and I'm going to have to come back. I'm going to have to come back. This suit need to be down a little more. This gives me motherfucking... I can't hear you. Y'all know that girl who be singing them songs. Let me tell y'all why she blocked me on the next live. Yes. Yes, she blocked me. It's okay. Well, we're going to get into that. She blocked me. <laughs> Auntie blocked me. Yeah, it's Janet Jackson, but the girl, you know, she's singing all these songs, and she got a little whispery soft voice. I think she's from New Orleans, too. Does she have teeth, bitch? The bitch got 100,000 teeth. <laughs> bitch. Girl. All right, y'all, so we're going to go live when I get, yeah. Yes, the girl that be covering Janet songs. Okay, y'all, so let's go live on the next, on the next.